Hello dear viewers and listeners. I hope each and everybody out there doing great and having good health. So in this video, I shall explain some divisions of animal tissue. And you know, my previous classes, I shall be following the consequences of the chapters 2 of SSC Biology. And previous classes, I explained some divisions of plant tissue. And now, this is the animal tissues divisions. So on the basis of some characteristics, we know that the tissues are the bunch of, bunch of cells is doing some specific functions. So if we divide the animal tissues, then we can see that we will have four different type of tissues. So on the naming is that number one, there would be epithelial tissue, which is actually acting as a covering. Uh, so epithelial tissue, connective tissue, nerve tissue and muscular tissue. So we have four different type of animal tissues. Uh, so I, I just only explain the divisions in this class, but there are lots of explanation inside each of every single words. So I'm thinking to, uh, uh, to upload a series of class on the basis of these different different issues. But in fact, uh, when you will go to the HSC level, uh, then you will know that more about every single words. But in this class, I will only show the divisions and some examples of these tissues. So following the lectures, the animal tissues, that we can have epithelial tissue, which will act as a covering. The connective tissue, from the name, we can have the idea that it works much as like connections and the internal circulations. And this is nerve tissue which is the part of nervous system and you know when we'll study about nerve tissue we must know about neurons and this is actually the muscular tissue which has some power of contraction and expansion so that we can do more activity in our daily life so in case of muscular tissue we'll have some divisions so focusing on the first epithelial tissue we can have some divisions i wrote 11 uh, types of epithelial tissues here, but there are some divisions based on the cell numbers, based on the basement membrane layers, or even uh, the basement transformation. So, in case of understanding the epithelial tissue, you can see that on your book that uh, the epithelial tissue uh, has been divided into some groups, and if you see the pictures, so that you can have an idea that these tissues is actually the squamous epithelial tissue because it looks like a scales in the basement membrane. So this is squamous epithelial tissue because this tissues looks like a scale and this is cuboidal because it looks like scale and there inside will be a nucleus and this is actually the columnar. So these tissues squamous, cuboidal and columnar. These three types of tissues are epithelial tissue which is actually uh, that is written that the cells of epithelial tissues lie closely or side by side on the basement membrane on the size of the cell, location on the animal body and nature of work this tissue is divided into three types so the squamous, cuboidal and columnar usually the squamous epithelial tissue are found in the Bowman's capsule of the kidney. So in, in the kidney there are nephrons and in the nephron there are Bowman's capsule. So we know that from the Bowman's capsule there are kidney tubules have started. So when we will study about the excretory system on that basis we will know that what is actually the Bowman's capsule and what is collecting tubule. So on the Bowman's capsule you know already who studied uh, nephron on the Bowman's capsule we will find the squamous epithelial tissue. So this is important because on your objective or MCQ questions, uh, question may like uh, what type of tissues are found mostly in Bowman's capsule? The answer would be squamous. And cuboidal is commonly found in the collecting tubule of nephron and columnar epithelial tissue find an internal layer of intestine. So, so this is important, the functions and the locations of these tissues. So epithelial tissues are divided into three parts based on the cell numbers and their positions. So squamous, cuboidal, columnar. And then based on the layers in the basement membrane, the epithelial tissue is again divided into three parts. 
that simple epithelial tissue, stratified epithelial tissue, pseudo stratified epithelial tissue. In case of simple tissue, the simple epithelial tissue, it means that there is a single layer in the basement membrane and we find it in the Bowman's capsule, the kidney tubules or even intestine of the vertebrate. So in this organs or in these places, we usually find that simple epithelial tissue and then stratified. Stratified epithelial tissues are those that have more than one layers in the basement membrane and we can find it in the integument of vertebrate, usually in the skin. So we'll have simple stratified and pseudo stratified. But in case of pseudo stratified, actually uh, pseudo stratified will have will have one or even more layers but the cells height are not same that is why it's called pseudo stratified because pseudo it means false it looks alike but it's false so pseudo stratified will find this type of tissues on the trachea will find stratified tissues on the integument of vertebrate will find the simple epithelial tissue in the Bowman's capsule or even kidney tubule or even the internal layer of the intestine. So based on that we can have six different type of epithelial tissue and based on transformation we'll have more five types of epithelial tissue like ciliated, flagellated, reproductions and the pseudopodial and reproductive and glandular. So this type of tissues in your book if you see that is written what are the functions and where it is found so hopefully I will need more specific class on epithelial tissue to explain this more but here I will only explain what are the divisions of these tissues so firstly in terms of animal tissue we can have four divisions epithelial connective nerve and muscular in case of epithelial tissue we will have 11 types but based on three categories so number one will have uh, squamous and cuboidal columnar first three and then second three is simple stratified pseudo stratified and last of all there are more five type of epithelial tissue based on the transformation ciliated flagellated, pseudopodial, reproductive and glandular and then we can have the connective tissue in case of connective tissue uh, there are some different things like three different categories the fibrous connective tissue, skeletal connective tissue and fluid connective tissue based on the matrix the skeletal connective tissues are of two types like in our body we have bones and cartilage so the bones are actually you know, like very rigid fragile and uh, the elasticity is very less and, and zero so in case of skeletal connective tissue the bones and cartilage will be explained in uh, the other chapter where is uh, locomotion and firmness on your biology book so when I'll uh, provide the lectures on skeletal system, I'll more discuss about bones and cartilage because inside bones there are lots of study like the cell structure and the number of the bones and if we study skeletal system more things will come. So bones and cartilage are the part of skeletal connective tissue. In case of fluid connective tissue we have two that is blood and lymph. And if we start this word blood, there will be number of hours we need to explain it. So it will be discussed on chapter 6 when I will give you the lecture on um, the transportation of animals and plants. So in case of uh, explaining the transportation in animals, we need blood to study and the internal circulations. So on that level, we will explain it more, but blood will be divided into two different compositions, plasma and blood cells. So I just keep it like this, I will explain it more on that chapter. So blood and lymph are the fluid connective tissue, bones and cartilage are the skeletal connective tissue and then there is a fibrous connective tissue where in matrix there will be fiber inside. So the connective tissue are divided into three categories. Nerve tissue 
there is no division because nerve tissue especially when we say nerve tissue we must know there is neuron and especially uh, neuron uh, it requires another class to upload it more elaborately and uh, what is the functions of neuron what are the structure of neuron and what are the functions of synapse so on that class i will explain it and muscular tissue those tissues actually originated from the mesoderms and they have like contraction and expansion power they're called the muscular tissue and muscular tissue is divided into three categories like voluntary muscles like which is actually straighted muscle or muscular tissues empty means muscular tissues involuntary or smooth muscle and cardiac muscle this class also required another uh, different lecture to explain because you see in this picture you have muscular i mean vo voluntary uh, muscles inside voluntary muscle this is called straighted muscle because the structure of voluntary muscle and involuntary muscle are not same but inside there are some common categories like as it is a muscular tissue it will be uh, the covered by sarcolemma and inside there will be fiber like substance like myofibril so there is a very clear uh, distinguishes between the voluntary muscle involuntary muscle and cardiac muscle though cardiac muscle uh, is very special there is some connections in between because this is branched muscle and inside cardiac muscle there will be uh, in uh, like what i say the inside in uh, intercalated disc inside and all the part of the cardiac muscle is branched together so if i make it short the animal tissues is divided into four categories number 1 epithelial connective nerve and muscular and if you see that epithelial tissue is again divided into 11 categories actually based on three categories squamous cuboidal columnar simple stratified pseudo stratified ciliated flagellated pseudopodial reproductive and glandular based on connective tissue will have three different categories fibrous skeletal and fluid in case of skeletal will have bones and cartilage in case of fluid will have blood and lymph and if we divide blood we have two different compositions plasma and blood cells nerve tissues is very simple it will have a discussion on neurons and muscular tissues divided into three part voluntary involuntary and cardiac so this is a very uh, short just naming of the tissues in terms of animal tissues and then i'll explain more categorizing in terms of muscular tissues i have again uh, another lectures in terms of nerve tissues i will have another lectures on neurons structure and function in case of connective tissue i will explain fibrous skeletal and fluid connective tissue so when you read your book you see there are lines written to understand every single thing and you please make a mark of every single important words or keywords to understand the animal tissue so this is a a very short class and then i shall explain more about some explanation the later on so see you in next class stay well stay blessed bye